Right, yeah, we'll just, uh, we'll just come out of our office, uh, enter the factory. Yeah, so we, uh, when we set up sort of four years ago, we only had sort of this size of a factory. It used to be an old, um, old, an old quarry, so it used to be an old lime store, so um, our landlords have re-roofed it and made it into a factory, which is great. Um, but since we're grown and getting more customers and trying to keep up with demand, we decided to obviously take on an extra bit of a shed, and that's where we've installed the uh, Randex uh, framing station line, which we'll have a look at. So what we do is we uh, we make our wall panels through this. Um, everything is pre-cut, pre-cut on the saw, which we've just invested into a, a new saw of, uh, of Randek. All comes, all comes pre-cut, gets fed, it, gets fed into the line. All, of, all the drawings get up, up, uploaded from the office of how we want to, uh, in the order we make things, how it goes onto site. Um, the operator will just feed in the studs, as you can see he's doing. Once it's fed in, a little bit of a persuasion. And then the machine knows exactly where that stud needs to go at the correct size, in the correct position, and the nail guns come through and, and shoots into the studs from the, uh, through the top and bottom rail. And there you can see the bars coming up. That's given us the location of a nest member, uh, which is a rotated stud, which we do a lot of that. Um, we nail over rotated studs on the pre-assembled table. Uh, that's another sort of fantastic little bit of kit we bought off Randex. So we do all the pre-assembles on this little table, which slides open and out, and that just speeds the production up on the main production line. Once the, uh, once the panel's made, it goes into the nest station. We, uh, we drop the insulation in. Um, some clients get the insulation off us and we'll factory fit it. Some, some will take it and we'll insulate it on site. Uh, once the insulation's fitted, it then goes onto uh, the squaring table number one, where we square the panels together, make sure it's all square, and we put the OSB free racking board on, and then we tack that to, um, and move it onto the nail and bridge. Nail and bridge nails all the OSB to the correct uh, centres as the entities have told us and then once it all that's fully nailed it goes onto the nest station and we wrap, we wrap it in the breather membrane ready for it to go onto site um, and then because we ran out of room we've now put a sideways move sideways table in and that goes onto rollers again uh, and some clients are going down the route of factory fitted windows so that's give us a perfect opportunity to add something valued extra for the client, save time on site, etc. Um, doing a factory fitted window and we're gonna we're gonna have a look down there. Insulation we're using that's, uh, that's a hundred mil uh, PRI uh, Celotex insulation board. Um, we're simply fitting that to a 140 stud uh, to achieve U values. Um, we can factory fit anything from 120, 100, 120, 140. All depends what the client's uh, requirements are for wall U values. So we work closely with them and we work to the SAP calculations to comply to the latest building regulations. Uh, this production line uh, can make um, wall panels to suit passive standards because we're obviously around about 300 mil um, high studs. So when we looked at buying this line, I did think about further down the line, your three, four, five, six down the line, what, so this line will actually can, can manufacture. What. So once the panel's all been nailed with the OSB uh, off a nailing bridge, it moves on to the nest station, where the, um, we basically 
we wrap it in a, a reflective uh, membrane. We, uh, we've partnered up with Procter Membranes on this one, so they, uh, they put our branding on for us, etc. Uh, you can see we're putting the red tape studs on. That does a couple of jobs. It identifies um, follow-on trades where our studs are, so if a nail and brick ties, etc., or anything to it, the studs are identified. Also, holds the paper on um, to stop, stop it blowing off in extreme weather conditions, etc. So once the panel's obviously uh, wrapped in paper, uh, the, the breather membrane, we, we, you can see it's been oversized. We have folds, we put the folds on, so when it's erected on site, the folds come around and then obviously everything gets lapped on site when it's erected. Once it's finished membrane, we move it down here. Uh, if we uh, have clients where we want factory fitted windows, this is where we would lift the windows in with the overhead crane into the panel uh, and they sit in within the uh, timber frame 140 stud uh, and they sit within that zone so for transportation um, they're not getting damaged and we're keeping the pack size down and when they go to site they literally just push out. So we've partnered up with a local window supplier, uh, Carlisle Window Systems and, uh, and Eurocell. Um, They've got a, a, a fantastic factory fitted with the design, which is all proven and tested and fire tested. So that's why we've decided to partner with Eurocell as a, as a business, um, due to the service and the quality we get offered. These are panels ready for delivery. Uh, she's just down the road in the Lake District. Uh, that's two, two first floor panels that, uh, for two plots. So that's someone's house. I think uh, house we could probably manufacture up to 20 a week. 20 a week? Yeah, out, out of this current facility, but uh, working on single shifts, start ramping up to double shifts or three shifts, we can obviously ramp up a lot more. Panels, we try linear, we, we work it in linear meters and wall panels. Um, we can probably get on a, on a, on a, on a good day, uh, we'd probably do about in excess of between 150 to 180 linear meters and wall panels in, a, in, in an eight hour working day. So all the raw materials comes into here. We keep it all dry. Um, and obviously all the finished goods are all kept. You know, we, 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 we're very key with quality. Uh, we are a STA gold member as well. And we've got our quality frame mark. Uh, we're ISO, so quality is key. So we try, to, we, we do, we keep all our materials as they come off a wagon, we keep them undercover dry. And then we also keep, when the finished products are manufactured, we keep all of them undercover as well to keep.